What is up everyone? Sorry, I look a bit rough. Um, I'm very tired. I've just pretty much woken up. Uh, it's quarter to ten. I've actually been up since, well, like an hour ago, an hour and a quarter ago actually. Um, but I haven't got my shower or anything yet. I haven't eaten yet. Um, it is quarter to ten, Friday morning, and I am waiting for my delivery. I'm also waiting to send out the N64. Um, the N64 that I made a video about sold totally sold, completely 100% um, before the video even uploaded so I never got a chance to send you guys the auction um, but hang on a sec guys, let me change my my uh, thing and by thing I meant um, method of holding the camera man so today's little plan is a nice little vlog but hopefully with an unboxing um, so basically it's just gone quarter to ten. I've got to be in work by about two o'clock. So my parents are coming back by two o'clock to watch for couriers and whatnot because I'm waiting for a delivery, which is my Hackintosh parts, and I'm waiting to send out an N64, and also my parents are sending out a parcel, so that's two separate couriers because the person that ended up buying the N64 uh, is on the Isle of Wight, so I need to use a different courier to my regular one. So. This morning basically consists of me filming this video. This is going to be Friday's video, actually. Um, I'm in work for a kind of a short amount of time, so I'm, I'll be back by 5 o'clock. So I aim to edit and upload this video and try and get it live for Friday night. Um, because one thing I like about these hype videos, building excitement about the delivery, etc, etc, is the fact that... Um, they're so real and in the moment, you know, and I want you guys to see that this on the day that it's all happening. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Obviously, I'm very excited for the delivery. Um, people are asking me if I'm going to do a dedicated unboxing, and yes, I am. So, so, so excited. And if I do merge these videos together, guys, then to all those people that don't usually, usually watch vlog type videos, they just watch my tech content, then um, welcome. And this is the style. It's basically me stumbling over my words for half an hour or so, uh, trying to point the camera at my face. <laughs> so that is basically it. Um, but yeah, one little note that I'm going to say, guys, and it's actually consuming quite a lot of my brain power at the moment, is thinking about my weekend. Now, tomorrow I am free, so hopefully I'm going to have a chill day tomorrow. But um, Sunday I'm away all day at a gig, so that is something that I'm doing. Um, and the person that I'm doing the gig with, I'm doing a video project for them that I need to work on now. I need to do a rough video edit. Um, so, away all day Sunday. I kind of, ah, uh, you know, I much prefer it when I have like a Friday night gig and then I've got a Saturday and Sunday to myself. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining because I try so hard to get gigs and that. Um, but it sort of gives me that that really weird feeling of, you know, ah, uh, I can't relax until I've done the gig, if that makes sense. So after Sunday, I'll be able to relax a lot more, but, you know, I've got then a full week of work, so... Oh, man, I, I, I always feel, when when a whole day of my weekend is devoted to work, I always feel that the weekend is gone. And I shouldn't feel like that because, you know, gigging is something that I really enjoy and stuff. But anyway, I've got to do some work on this video project, guys, so when couriers and stuff show up, I'll try and get some footage and I'll try and keep you updated. It's 10 to 10. For some reason I can't eat anything yet, I'm just totally cannot eat. I'll try and eat by about half past ten, but I'm going to do some work on this vid anyway. So I've actually been working on this video project for quite a long time. Um, when I say a long time, I've been doing it for about a week or two, um, whenever i got a spare minute. It's quite an important little project. Um, well, it's not a crazy important project, but it's kind of important to get it looking good. Um, and I've actually restarted, uh, a couple of days ago I restarted the entire project, um, so I kept the library and just restarted the project. I just deleted the project and uh, I'm starting the new one now and um, just refining the intro and stuff. It's um, It certainly is something that I've never done before, this type of thing. I'm not sure how much of it I'm allowed to show online, actually, um, but I'll see if I can get you some clips later on. But yeah, it is certainly bizarre and because of the content of the actual video, you can't really work on it for longer than an hour because you start to go stir crazy. Also, I haven't got the studio recorded audio yet. I can get my hands on the audio within the next half a week or so, but they want a rough cut uh, with just the camera audio, um, which makes my life difficult because it makes my work look crapper. Um, but, you know, it's that's how it works in the real world. So, um, yeah, it's worth a go. 
but yeah, I've got a lot of editing to do. So guys, it is nearly 25 to 11. I'm just giving this uh, project a final render. I've got five minutes and 30 seconds to show them uh, to see if they like it. And hopefully they do because, man, this is tricky to edit. This is really tricky. So once this is rendered, I'm gonna stick it on a pen drive and uh, hope for the best. A um, Couple of annoying factors about this project. Always when you receive footage, uh, got a couple of portrait shots. Uh, which is a pain in the ass, obviously, and uh, also, for some reason, half the clips are in a different res, so that is really annoying, so it's not, I haven't got a 1080p timeline, even though it was recorded with a 1080p camera, timeline is uh, standard def, because I can't upscale the standard def clips without them looking like crap, so, yeah, big shame, but whatever, it's not my problem, I can only work with what I've got, and here we have it. Here it is, and yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> so, no sign of any deliveries, guys. Um, like I said, it's 25 to 11. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check the Amazon status. Not that it says a lot on Amazon, as you guys know, in terms of delivery. Um, it won't be long. In the blink of an eye, uh, it'll be time for me to go to work. So I really hope the delivery comes. Not that I can build anything today, obviously, but I just wanna unbox the parts to show you guys. Um, because that would be so, so cool, so exciting to do. I just can't wait to do it. I really can't wait. So one really cool thing about doing these vlog style videos and sort of getting them up the same day is I can import the clips and quickly paste them together. So everything you've just seen I've already edited together, which is really cool. And it is now, let's take a look, 10 past 11. Um, I've got that rough cut video on this pen drive ready to give. Uh, to them to see what they think and everything is going well if we just go over and take a look at the Amazon page uh, The estimate is today as you can see for this delivery So we're talking two Noctua fans graphics card two hard drives two SSDs and a liquid cooler um, Which is so cool now one thing that I've forgotten about guys um, Is little bits and bobs that I may, may need um, so I will be doing another order, but it doesn't, you know, it's boring stuff. It doesn't deserve its own, um, its own video. I've got this really cool pack of, um, sticky back plastic cable tie things that will really help me, but I do need cable ties. I also need some screws, various screws for things, um, for this build, because I'm doing, obviously, a few peculiar things. Um, and what the hell is that sticking out of the door? Is that just a normal letter? I hope it is. Hope it's not a we missed you, because I didn't hear them knock. Normal letter. Cool. Um, but yeah, I've, I need to order a few more things. Cable ties and also um, SATA cable. A couple of SATA cables because of the weird lengths. I need two fairly long ones and two really short ones. So I don't know if the ones that come with my motherboard will cover the... Um, two really long runs. Having said that, I'll need to order some anyway because one of those is right angled and one of those is straight, which is so annoying because I need them both to be the same. Um, but anyway, I'm aimlessly walking downstairs. It is definitely time for me to have breakfast. 10 past 11. If I have a small breakfast now and then um, a small lunch at about quarter to two, then I should be feeling fairly pleasant and I can have a nice big dinner tonight and everything will be cool. Not that the Health people will probably think that that's a very good idea, but anyway, yeah, I've got these two parcels here to go. I just need another parcel in here, which will be my Hackintosh parts, and I can unbox them then. So, yeah, but I'm gonna make some, some breakfast, whatever it's gonna be. Ah, my lunch is totally sorted, guys. I've got two lovely slices of um, bacon, goat's cheese, and mushroom pizza, homemade pizza. My mum makes awesome pizza, so I've got a couple of slices of toast in for now. Um, just to carry me over, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I've just got done watching uh, David's video on this speaker that is waterproof that goes in your shower um, while I was eating some breakfast. And look at this guy's bonus Ribena. Oh, hey, I love uh, blackcurrant, and of course, having official Ribena is pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, this looks like an awesome little product and something that I'd be really interested in. Really, really cool because. I always listen to music using my phone, and since my Galaxy Note 2 died in the bathroom, I'm always very cautious. When I'm in the shower, I'm always like, it's in the back of my mind that this may get damaged. And sometimes, if if I want it a little bit louder, even though this is, you know, obviously HTC uh, boom sound is awesome, but 
Um, if I want it a bit louder again, I always put it in the sink because the, the sink kind of makes the whole sound just echo and it's really cool. Um, but yeah, this looks like a really cool little device that um, I would be interested in. Um, <clears throat> interested in. I can't even get my words out. But yeah, it is now, time check, 11.32. We have no sign of uh, any deliveries or any couriers coming to pick any items up. But one thing I will say is, you may notice I have my MacBook Pro 2008 here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my girlfriend's laptop uh, died. She dropped it on the floor and the hard drive went. So I was like, you know what? Um, considering her laptop is really old and stuff, and it's, the specs are much worse than this. It's from the same year as this. It's a 2008 laptop, I believe. Um, but, or it could be 2009, but it has a Pentium in it. Uh, one gig of RAM and uh, crappy integrated graphics. So I was like, you know what? Give this a go. So what I've done is I've ordered a decent third-party battery for it, and I spent quite a lot of money on it, just under £50. And if this battery doesn't solve the power issues, because I believe it's just a battery issue, then um, I am not going to put any more money into this. Um, now, as you guys know, the LCD is a bit dodgy, but um, that's kind of copable. And if she does like this laptop, then I'm willing to fix the uh, LCD issue because parts can be found quite cheap on eBay. And also, if all of that goes well, then I think I'll throw in an SSD to make it a little snappier around uh, around the OS and stuff, because this original old 250 gig, 5400 RPM drive is very sluggish, but it'll be quicker than what she's been using before anyway. Um, so I'm waiting for this to come. It should have really come today, but it's being dispatched today, and it, it says it's going to come by tomorrow. It says it's Saturday delivery. Uh, for special delivery, so that is really cool. Looking forward to that arriving, and there will definitely be a video of me putting that in the laptop, trying out the laptop, and uh, giving it a fresh install of Yosemite, actually. So that's one thing I need to do, is um, make a Yosemite USB stick. I don't actually have one. So, actually, I'm going to see if I can do that now. I'm not sure how big it is. I can't remember what the biggest drive I have hanging around is. But, yeah, I shall do that in a small while. But, very impressed with this speaker. And uh, David's reviews are getting better and better as well. I mean, uh, I'm not a review channel at all. I don't review products ever, really. Um, but, yeah, this, this is good. Not bad. So, yeah, what can I say, guys? What can I say? At least I've had some breakfast now, so I'm more lively and awake. But, if anything, that's made me worse because I'm just more eager to get my delivery. And, uh... That's not really a, a genuine tantrum. I don't mind if it doesn't arrive. I'll just unbox it when it does arrive. And it should, it will arrive today, but I'll probably be at work, so blah, you've heard all this already. Holy crap, guys, I found this page for the first time ever, and you can enter your number to get them to text you, so yes, I will do that. That is cool. And as you can see, out for delivery, it's definitely, definitely gonna arrive today. Um, but I'm also waiting on the pen drive, which is not gonna arrive today. The nice Patriot 16 gig. USB 3.0 drive that I got and also I'm waiting on Resident Evil for Wii U because um, I bought it because it was for a really good price and that may come in this delivery because it says estimate Friday 10th but it also has a dash um, saying it could be delivered on Wednesday as well so that's a bit odd but yeah whatever. So guys I am eagerly anticipating my delivery. Um, a few annoying things about waiting for deliveries but more importantly collections is you can't really do anything you know like I really wouldn't mind having a shower right now because it's 10 to 12 and I've got to go to work at 2 o'clock as you guys know and it's been warm weather I quite fancy a shower it'd be nice and relaxing you know it's not as if I stink to high heavens but I could really do with one and uh you know, now I've, it, biding my time now for the next two hours, I've got the video project done that I wanted to get done. Um, so, it's tricky to know what to do in this time now. I mean, I could list some Game Boys on eBay, that's definitely high on my priorities list, but I'm not too sure. Um, also, I wouldn't mind going upstairs and having a quick jam up the studio, but the studio is a little bit too far away from the front door to make it uh, worthwhile. So, uh, yeah, I could mi easily miss something. But, oh man, I just really want the parts now. I really, really want the parts. This is actually reminding me of my MacBook Pro video when we were waiting for my MacBook Pro delivery. Um, of course, that was more exciting because it's my first ever brand new Mac. And um, 
I keep gazing out the window, sorry guys. And this is just, you know, parts I've received, you know, fans, SSDs and drives and stuff in the post before. But one thing that is really exciting about this is the fact that it makes my collection of parts complete and I know that next time I get a free whole day, which is probably this Tuesday, I can piece together part one of the Hackintosh video. So I am so, so excited to do that. Really, really can't wait. Um, and part one, as you guys know, is parts overview. Um, uh, first boot and test, uh, test bench build and first boot. So that is awesome. And then part two is, I believe part two is OS ten installation, is it? I don't know, let me get the picture up. Okay, here we are, here we are. Okay, yeah, so let's take a look. Um, ah, yes. Part one, parts overview, test bench build and boot test. That will be Tuesday, so Wednesday's video for you guys. Really hope, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Part two, configuration in OS X install. That could also be that week, maybe Friday's video, but maybe the week after. Power Mac G4 Quicksilver ATX case modding, which is part three, um, will be as soon as I can get it done with my dad, so I need to talk to him about when he's free. Part four, the build is as soon as I have another free day after case modding. Part number five, final thoughts and benchmarks, which I can record whenever. So we are looking at maybe having the Hackintosh done within minimum two weeks, maximum four weeks, guys. So bonus, well, proper maximum four weeks, you know, probably maximum two and a half, three weeks. So, oh, I'm so close to it. I'm so close, I can smell it. One, th actually, I know what to do in this time. I'm gonna calculate what screws, cal calculate. I'm gonna figure out what screws I need, cable ties, SATA cables, and all that stuff, build up another basket and do another Amazon order. That should only come to about 50 pounds. Um, but I don't have an optical drive either, and I'm feeling a bit weird about building without an optical drive. So I might splash out on an optical drive. I want a Blu-ray drive and an external enclosure, and that comes up to £100 itself. So, ah, painful. Really don't know. So everyone, I've finalised my basket. I've got a 120mm fan guard. Just because my radiator is going to be lying flat on the bottom of the inside of the case, I want to put this in because it's going to be quite a tight squeeze when the door closes. I don't want the uh, fan to chop up any cables or anything. Um, so this is just a black 120mm fan guard. Then we have some MX4 thermal paste. Uh, I'm not sure what the Cooler Master stuff that comes with the liquid cooler is like, so I thought to be on the safe side, I'll grab some MX4 because I don't have any here at the moment. Um, here I have some small cable ties, really ideal for computer stuff, and I've already got some uh, sticky back cable tie mounts um, that are really, really good. They'll come in handy. Here we have an 8-pin extension because I'm going to be running that all the way underneath the motherboard and sneaking that up the side of the case. Here we have two gigabyte SATA cables. These are nice and long, uh, 50 centimeters, hopefully the same as the ones that come with my motherboard so that I can match one of the right angle ones and the straight ones and whatever. That gives me two spare cables as well if my SSD plan doesn't work out. Here I have two packs of four, um, my quantity is set to two, hard drive screws with rubber mounts because as you guys know, the hard drive is attached to a metal case and the metal case sits on the bottom of the case on the Quicksilver, so the hard drives actually shake the bottom of the power max. So these screws are ideal um, for trying to eliminate some vibration, but also putting um, a little bit of foam underneath the hard drive caddy, just a little bit, really, really does help shield the vibration from the case, so that makes the overall system a lot quieter. That's one thing you've got to understand with using an old case is often these things that you take for granted in modern systems aren't catered for. And um, talking of not catered for is front USB. So instead of having a front USB, I've got front USB header going to a PCI backplate. So that with the dual slot graphics card and the FireWire card will fill up all four slots. Coming down, I have two very, very short 10 centimeters, and I've got my ruler down here to help me measure and sort of eyeball things. Uh, rounded SATA cables that I may be using for my SSDs if I mount them on the door, but if I don't mount them on the door and I mount them on the back wall, I'll be using some normal SATA cables. And then here we have a one meter length of double-sided, 50 millimeter wide uh, Velcro, double-sided Velcro, normal Velcro, sticky back obviously, um, that will be handy for mounting my SSDs. Um, for a little bit of extra security. So that is how everything is looking at this particular moment in time, guys. And um, they're all of the little bits, and that comes up to £48.53. So another £50 down the drain on mis miscellaneous crap, but it's stuff that you all need. And this is stuff that people never factor in when they build computers. If you want bells and whistles like this, 
or simply stuff that you actually need, then it does mount up quite quickly. So I don't have it in me to order the optical drive today as well. I just can't spend that much money again. So it came up to 54.53, an extra six pounds on delivery. Uh, no big deal, but man, whew, I've been doing a lot of separate orders. So between those little things and the, and the MacBook, Pro, MacBook Pro battery, there's a hundred pound gone there. I mean, you know, everything mounts up, um, but it's okay. You know, I'm, um, you only build a system once, you know, unless you're one of these lucky ones that gets to build multiple systems a year. But you only build a system once every few years, so you may as well do it right if you're going to do it at all. Um, so, yeah, I've just spent all that money, so I don't want to spend any more money now. I really hope nothing else crops up. I really hope nothing breaks. This is a very bad time to order stuff, guys, because of delivery and bank holidays and stuff. Some of this stuff is estimated to arrive on the 20th of April, and it is now, what, the 9th, 10th? Let's have a look. It is the 10th today, I think. Come on, phone. Here we go, yeah, 10th today. Uh, so, you know, that really goes to show how badly delivery can be affected over the Easter period. So I've chosen a really crap time to do it, but um, I am I am still really, really looking forward. I, I can't wait. I just hope I'm not waiting for that one part that hinders the whole build. That would really suck. But if it's something like that Velcro or whatever, I can just go out to the shop and get some temporarily. You know, even if it's not the right color or whatever, I can do it temporarily. Um, so... I think we should be up and running very soon. I cannot wait. Ooh, and to answer a lot of people's confusion, I'm doing case modding after OS X install. That is correct. Because I'm installing OS X and stuff while it's on the test bench. Um, test bench being the motherboard box, obviously. Um, I'm not splashing out the test bench yet. Although I would like one at one point. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to literally, where the MacBook Pro and stuff is sitting on the corner of the desk there, I'm going to have the Hackintosh all set up just sitting there, components out in the open, so why the hell not, I mean, why not? I won't be using the video card, I'll be installing OS X and stuff and getting all that sorted uh, on the integrated graphics, and then I'll be sorting everything out. Um, I'll be installing the NVIDIA web driver, slotting the video card in, and it should work, so. Anyway, pointless talking. Um, no sign of deliveries yet, and we are at 20 past 12, so if it doesn't come within the next hour and 10 minutes, then I will not be able to film the unboxing today. Maybe. Or I may try and film it when I come back, but I know if I film it after work, I will definitely not get this video out and live today. It'll be late again. Edited up to the point that you've just seen, it is 10 to 1, and yes, this is after cleaning the lens. What is that? I have tried cleaning the lens, so I don't know what that is. I've cleaned it really... Oh, bloody hell, I've just spent five minutes doing it, literally. Um, but yeah, whatever. It is 10 to 1, guys. So, we are cutting it fine. I've just realised that in the last clip I said, if it doesn't come by half one, then, you know, I won't be able to film the unboxing today. But literally, if it doesn't come in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to have to get this video exporting and up for today. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Oh, no. It's really, really sad if it doesn't come. Come on. I don't want that girl thinking that I'm filming her. But come on. Just arrive, please. Do you know, it's always, always weird waiting for deliveries when you film the process. I think I've done this three times now in a vlog. Um, or twice in a vlog and maybe once with the MacBook Pro thing. But yeah, when I'm not filming, I'm much more chilled. But because I'm filming and I'm like, oh, I really want to show you guys the delivery. I'm just really into it. I really am. I just can't, can't stop w wishing it to arrive. And I'm just... I'm at, I've got an aching shoulder because when I sit at my desk, I can't really see out my window unless I do this really awkward movement position with my shoulder and stuff. So, yeah, that's not good. But I've just been looking at the parts that I already do have and getting really hyped and psyched. Um, but, you know, I don't have drives or a video card yet or whatever. So, oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm so, so excited. But, yeah, I've got a massive feeling, guys, that you won't see the unboxing of the parts until next week. But, the good thing is, that'll be Monday's video, and then Tuesday's video will hopefully be a build. Actually, no, it won't. Wednesday's video will have to be the build. Because it'll take all day for me to for me to put that together nicely and everything and make a good video about it. So, yeah, if I devote Tuesday all day to the build process, make a nice, nice video, good quality, in focus with a bit of luck. 
Oh. Then you'll see the video on Wednesday. So Monday's video, unboxing. Tuesday's video, something else, maybe an eBay video, maybe, I'm not too sure. There is one of those in the pipeline. I tried to record it yesterday, filmed the whole half an hour video out of focus, well done me. Thumbs up for using manual focus to the best of its abilities. So the camera did its job, I just didn't, thanks to my crappy eyesight, but whatever, I'm not here to rant. Well guys, I waited as long as I could, it's quarter past one, and I've got 45 minutes to get this edited, exported, and uploading. Uh, so, yeah, no delivery, no collection, nothing. It's totally bleak. Absolutely nothing. One last look, just in case. Not that I have time to unbox it now, but yeah, there we go. So, another weekend waiting in eager anticipation for the It's Malachi. That's a doorbell. <laughs> there it is. We have got it. Now, this video is probably going to be late uploading tonight guys um actually stuff it separate video separate unboxing video okay <laughs> i'm gonna leave you guys in total eager anticipation because this is friday's video thank you very much for watching this intense vlog with a very happy ending i'll catch you monday with the unboxing of this guy um i'm making you wait so maybe i'll post a teaser picture on the facebook page over the weekend so sorry guys, but I just cannot cram it into this video and have it upload in time. Whew. Exciting times.